So, a quick question. Have you guys ever looked at the Swedish anti-aircraft line and were disappointed? Because there is two things between 4.3 and 8.3 or been stuck using this thing that I'm not even going to try pronouncing? Well, why not give a Bakan 1C a try? You might be wondering, why Dita, why would you tell us to do this? Because it's way too fun to go against airplanes and helicopters with its holy proximity shells. And your enemies are not going to expect you trying to shoot them down with it and just make them generally hate you. Besides, take it from somebody that's from Serbia, we kind of have an experience in these things. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I never really liked it all that much, it's just, uh, it just a leopard two, uh, leopard one with the thermals really. Oh my god, he survived that one. You didn't that one. That's a third one. Yes, it's a good anti-tank weapon, but goddamn does it clap airplanes. Come on, fourth one. There we go, fourth one. Got a rado. Nice. Ah, he got my breach literally a second, dude. Last second, literally, dude. Okay, I'm coming. Attention to the map. Yes. Many shots like three. Last shell. There we go. It's that fucking easy. It's that. It, 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 it's that easy. I'm not joking. It's that fucking easy. Oh shit. Best anti air. If only this thing had a laser rangefinder on it. Oh my god, but then again, it's a fucking artillery vehicle, so can't complain. Easy. Now 
Yep, one is out, but that's the other one. Got both of them. Nobody can stop me! down there. Oh, a plate! Oh, a Koko Soko Asoko! <laughs> what? A song! Thank you, Kapli. What the plane doing? I just saved your life. Uh, thank you, I was doing something else. <laughs> 